Pretty World with Pretty World Plans, and I am back. I know that I went ghost on you all, and I am sincerely sorry. I did post something on Instagram saying that I was disappearing, um, but I get, did not give you guys a video for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram. So I do apologize for ghosting you all, but something had to give. I just, I could not continue to do all of the things. Like it just was not working out for my life and my sanity. So YouTube, it had to go. It was fun. Don't really need the money, so yeah, YouTube had to go. So I'm back, and in today's video, I will be going over September's budget. This is gonna be my first video. I probably will only be posting once a week, starting off just to get a feel for things. So, so much has happened, you guys, and there's so much that I need to upload, so much I need to edit. And I just wanna share everything with you all, but it's going to take me a while, especially now because I have a kid. She takes all of my time, and I mean almost all of it. She's napping now, hence why I am recording. Yay! Don't know how long she's gonna be asleep, so don't know if I'm gonna have to pause between the video. Who knows? But I will be sharing September's budget with you guys today. From the last budget that you all seen, it's probably a whole different vibe going on now. Um, we just got a house, so we have a lot of bills that are going on with the house at the moment um we have daycare but i think you all seen that in the budget tyree is about to come in the house and the dog's gonna bark so one moment are you done the end of this month i got a raise and also a bonus so i did get a little bit of an increase in my pay every two weeks so yay but i think that is it and i will update you guys on what's going on in the september budget so stay tuned all right so as you guys know this is my 2021 budget planner it is a planner from plum paper i will link it down below this is actually the unbound planner and i put some happy planner disc on here i like the happy planner disc style type of planner because you know you can always take things out put things back in as you please um what i will say with the plum paper planner and the happy planner disc sometimes when you move like just a small type of move the papers just come like right out and you know that bothers some people but they do have other types of disc not sure what's actually out there because i only have the happy planner disc but maybe next year i will look into something else because i do like the um unbounded planner where i can just punch the holes in myself but i am going ahead and move into september um I did happen to find me some stickers. Uh, they did get messed up in the move. As you can see, these are kind of a little rusted, but I'm still going to use them. Um, I got these from Goddess Planning Shop. I might order some throughout the rest of this year. I did want to make my own stickers, but right now the time, it's it just isn't there. So. Um, I'm probably going to continue using her stickers for a while until I actually find the time to make my own stickers so that I can stop spending so much money every month on stickers. So we're going to use these for the month of September. And unfortunately, I got this for March, you guys. And it is September. I know, I know. So I'm just gonna go in and write in September's budget going across here. All right, so that is September's budget. It's a little crooked. Oh well. Um, so we are going to put our income here. So here we have paycheck number one, 
paycheck number two, we have my dependent reimbursement. And then we have YouTube. And then here is our total line here. Um, for those of you who do not know, um, So for those of you who do not know, everything is um, pretty pretty much the same other than my dependent reimbursement. So basically what that is, is your job offers you benefits um, and they have an FSA. If they have an FSA account, they usually have the dependent savings account as well. So basically what that is, is you take money out of your check pre-taxed every pay period and you can use that to pay for daycare so i did the max and i think that every month i get about 400 bucks a month to go towards daycare pre-tax so less money is being taxed every paycheck um so that's honestly more money in my pocket Okay, so my variable expenses for the month, we have cable and internet, which I am budgeting $60 for, which is the same that I've been doing in the past because we were able just to switch our services over instead of starting over or finding someone new. It was just, hey, we're moving. Can we switch our internet and cable over to this address? And that's what we did there. Water for the month of September, I am budgeting zero dollars for. Um, where we moved to, we only have to pay water every other month, opposed to every month which we've been paying. What I could have done is I could still put a certain amount away each month, which I'll probably do going forward, um, but for now, for September's budget, it's just gonna be zero, and maybe starting next year, I'll still contribute to something every month for water so that I'm not taking a big chunk of change out. Next, we have the electric. Um, our first bill in this house was almost $300. Yes, it like almost had a heart attack it was just so ridiculous so hopefully it goes down i know that a lot had to do with it being so hot and it being in the 90s every day so the ac kicked a little more than it should and that pretty much probably is what contributed to it being such a high bill september's bill is probably going to be almost 300 as well but i'm just going to do the median and do 100 um even though it might be more but for now 100 it is uh, and then we have my spending account which I put 800 towards each month I think starting in January I might be contributing a little more being that we have Kanan's now although she is not eating real food I make her food like I, I make all of her purees so that's contributing to our grocery bill every month and fruits and vegetables are pretty high if I, if I say so myself so I might bump this up a little bit maybe next month the month after um, especially with buying her food it's contributing more to the grocery bill you know we're not making groceries for two anymore we're making groceries for three so of course it should increase a little bit Next we have sinking funds, which I am also going to go over today and what I have and what I have saved. This month I will be contributing $252 to my sinking fund account. Um, next we have savings, which I did not write anything down for savings. But let's just say I am going to save 300 bucks 
this month. I do want to kick my emergency fund up a bit, especially with us moving. Um, we're no longer renting a mortgage is higher. Also, anything that happens in this house, it is now our responsibility. So just to make sure that we have money to cover everything, we both have a very healthy emergency fund but it's just like, okay, what if something happens and they both get depleted and then something else comes up? <laughs> um, I'm always thinking ahead, so I do want to start putting a little bit more extra in my emergency fund. I believe right now I am at 10000 so maybe I'll try to beef that up and a goal next year would be to have that to maybe 15000 and then the year after that twenty. Who knows, but I do need to start contributing to that account again as well. And then next we have unbudgeted. Which of course you never want to go over in your unbudgeted, so that is always zero. And then for the fixed expenses, we have the mortgage which is $1,160 and one cent. That one cent just blows me. I'm like, really, like the one cent, wow. We do have HOA fees, but what I did for the rest of the year was I just paid off the rest of the year. So that's one less bill that we have to worry about for 2021. And then we'll just continue to pay it in 2022. Um, and then we have Citizens 1, which is $29.92. So this is part of our Vivint account. Um, so we have two separate bills. We have Vivint and then we have Citizens 1, which we actually pay for the equipment that we purchased. So that bill every month, my half is $29.92. And then next we have Apple, which is $2.99. And then we now have a gas bill, which is going to be $49 a month. I did put us on the budget plan, which I am thinking about maybe putting us on the budget plan for electricity as well. So what the budget plan does is it estimate what you're going to pay throughout the year and then it's your bill is evenly distributed so right now every month our gas is gas bill is $98 and then I believe come March April they'll reevaluate they'll change the amount of the bill they'll charge you more if you went over or you'll get a credit if it was less which I think is pretty good because in the winter you're gonna be using a lot of heat so Really not expecting a two three hundred dollar gas bill come December January. Next, we have my cell phone bill, which is ninety bucks, and then we have daycare, which actually went up for the month of August. They did a, I believe, a three percent increase. So now our daycare is six eleven eighty, and then last but not least, we actually have the Vivint bill, which is thirteen twenty four. So once our equipment is paid off, this is all that I will be paying for Vivint. And those are all of my bills for September. So we're gonna go ahead and add all of these bad boys up. So in total, everything comes up to $3,468.96. Those amounts just hurts my heart just a little bit, just a little bit. Here we're going to have 1,512, and then here we're going to have 1,956.96. So that is September's budget. 
I believe this is the first month where we are paying all of the bills related to the house. That is September's budget. Now we can go on. Um, this is actually going to be for paycheck number one and paycheck number two. And then we have where sinking funds would go. I could not find my sinking fund stickers. Um, so I, I'll just be writing in a sinking fund on here as well with my own words. $1.66 Next we have birthday which has a total of $59.37 Half car expenses which is $120 and then we have car maintenance, which is five hundred. Um, being that our cars are getting a little older, I want to keep a larger amount in here, so I want to keep at least five hundred in here at all times, or when I do spend money in this account i'm going to continue to add back to it to keep it at 500 just in case any type of emergency does happen um then we have cpa which is a negative 147.85 and i will be putting in for my reimbursement for this so hopefully by October this is gone um, I can replenish this and put the money towards either my sinking funds or savings or another trip or something um, but yes I should be sh will be putting in my reimbursement for that next week and hopefully everything goes smooth I get my money next paycheck and we are done with that next we have Christmas, which we are at $772.50. Um, my goal for Christmas each year is $1,000. Um, I really didn't spend much last year because we really didn't do a big Christmas like we usually do, but I think that I'm going to be doing, putting in a little more to this account. Um, I have to think it over, but we threw away our Christmas tree and I think I want to get new Christmas decorations, so that actually costs money. So I might end up putting a little more in here just to get that stuff. And then last but not least, we have vacation. And in that account, I have $225. So this isn't for any like specific vacation. It's just like a, hey, um, if we want to get away for a weekend and, you know, it was unplanned, bam, we have money for it. So that is that. 
And then we're gonna total all of these up. We have 498.75 plus 331.66 plus 59.37 on 20. 500 minus 147.85 plus 772.50 plus 225 gives us a total of 2359 dollars and 43 cents so this is what i have in an account of its own um so anytime i use my sinking funds i use my credit card when it's time to pay my credit card all i will go through the credit card statement and mark off what was used for sinking funds, transfer the money and pay that portion off and then use my spending account to pay the rest of the money. Um, that's how I usually do things. I don't use cash. I hardly use debit cards. I use my credit card, which gives me cash back. And I think I have over $500 in cash back just sitting in there at the moment. So it's useful. Um, I don't pay any interest because I pay everything off every single month. So yeah, um, this is September's budget. Starting off, I will not be sharing my paycheck to paycheck with you all, being that I'm only doing this once a week. So I'll do my September, my monthly budget, and then my monthly recap and. I'll throw some other videos in there as well. But that is it for my September's budget. I hope to see you guys very, very soon with another video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. I'm glad to be back and recording and posting. And I, I honestly miss this. So you guys will be seeing more videos from me soon. Bye.